Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Ruckus Build Series. In this series, I'm gonna be showing you guys the process of going through and converting my, wow, converting. So used to the Supermoto Build Series that I keep saying converting. We are gonna be working on my 2016 Honda Ruckus and uh, making it pretty freaking sweet. Today I'm gonna be taking you guys to go get some of the stuff painted. If you missed some of the other videos in the series, last week I tried to go paint. Uh, but we got one of the wrong colors, so we had to stop short. So we're gonna be finishing that job this weekend. Unfortunately, because of how the process of painting the stuff works, we gotta do some of the stuff over again. I'm working with Robert, he's actually a subscriber that I talked to um, at the Texas meetup, and he does uh, automotive painting on the side. So I got in touch with him, and we we're gonna do a pretty awesome paint job for this ruckus. If you wanna check out that video from last week or any of the other videos from the series, I'll have a playlist link down in the description or up there in the corner on the screen if you wanna check that out. Otherwise, I gotta get on the road. I will see you guys when I get there. Hey, looks like you got a little di different of a setup here. Yeah, um, our first setup, when the garage door was halfway open, yeah. we were getting too much airflow in there. That uh, okay. a lot of uh, overspray inside. Gotcha. What's up, dude? Are you excited? Are you excited? It's like, yeah, I'm so excited, so excited. You had a lot of fans in the last video, buddy. So I mentioned before that the issue we had last week was that we got the wrong blue color, but we have the right color now. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And this is the red, yeah? Mm -hmm. that's, Here, open that one too. that's so much better. <laughs> Because it's not a completely different color. No, no. It's a natural true blue there instead we go. of a midnight blue. So these are going to be the stripes um, that are on the silver that we're going to be doing. And this is the... Uh, <laughs> that's the uh, wrong blue that we had last time, which is practically black. So here are the pieces that we are painting along with this piece right here. If you want to see how we got to that point, we got to redo some stuff and I'll probably have him explain that here in a second. But we did a lot of that prep last time because of course we, were th we thought we were going to do the whole paint job. Um, so if you want to watch that video and kind of see that whole process, make sure you check the link in the description um, for the previous video. All right, puppy. What do you find down there? I don't think you can be here while we paint, man. I know, I'm sorry. I know you want to help. I know you want to help. In the But yeah, you can see how this one's a lot darker than this because this was over black and this was over just the uh, silver. the s silver that you see here, the just regular metal. So we're gonna do the same coat of this again. Otherwise, when we put all the other paint on top of that, they would look a different color even though we're using the same color paint. When you fix a car it, um, and restore a car, you got bare metal spots, you got Bondo spots, and Bondo can be anywhere from yellow to blue, or green. Yeah. And then when you prime it, it, it's, you get the two different grays. This is a darker gray, this is a lighter gray. And so that happens, and then you just spray it with a sealer, and it brings everything closer so that color will match perfectly. And you're saying that it's got like a two hour paint time? We passed the 72 hour recoat time. Recoat time. We have two hours to paint it once I mix the harder in there, hardener. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, we gotta do that again. Oh, we got a visitor here. <laughs> but yeah, if you wanna see how we got to this point, I recommend watching the previous video because I'm gonna jump ahead basically where we are right now. And what that involved was uh, scuffing all this stuff up and then putting this value shade on it. 12 seconds later. All right, so we're partially back through with what we got done last time. This looks kind of cool, actually. So what uh, what he's done is scuffed everything down so that they can be sprayed again. So that's all scuffed up, and he's uh, just cleaning them off right now. Now we're gonna be spraying the same gray that you see on here, um, that sealant, we're gonna be doing that again. I was looking at this stuff earlier and it kind of looks like a, like a rusty paint job that people will do. You guys think I should do that on a bike? That would be awesome if I did a, if I did like a rust paint job on a bike. On a bike that doesn't look like it's supposed to be like that, like a sport bike. A brand new R1.
All right, so we got the pieces back to where uh, we essentially were in the last video. The sealer is on them now and they are ready to get painted. The main color of the uh, pieces is gonna be silver, but because of the way that we're doing the design, we actually have to put down the blue and the red first. The blue and the red are both mixed up. We're putting a blue on first and then we're gonna mask, mask the pieces off for where the blue design will be and then we're gonna be spraying the red on top of that. Alrighty. This, oh, I was excited for this blue, but I am even more excited now that we actually have it on here. Look at this freaking color. I know I've already shown it to you, but man, I, w I don't even, I don't even think the camera can do it justice. This blue is freaking amazing. And yes, I know we haven't painted the, uh, the whole thing. We're only painting it in the sections that the blue is actually gonna be. So here's how this is gonna kind of look. We're gonna have a blue stripe here on the front that comes across. That's gonna continue on the sides. It's gonna come around here, over here, come down, and it's gonna continue down the uh, fuel tank cover right here that's gonna be uh, on the floor. Then, we're gonna have a red stripe. Red stripe! That comes on top of the blue, over around the sides, down the middle, down here. And then on this piece right here, blue stripe at the top, blue stripe at the bottom then red stripe on the inside of both of those blue stripes. You said we gotta wait 45 minutes until we can mask those parts off? Yep. All right, so we waited the 45 minutes that it takes for this uh, paint to fully dry. Now it's time to mask this stuff off. Is it straight? And does that look straight to you? <laughs> no, it looks straight to me. <laughs> ordinary pencil. It's a Stedler. Oh, fancy. It's uh, made in Germany. What this allows me to do is I can write on the part, paint or tape, and then I can just wipe it off with water and it won't, or I can paint over it. This is the, uh, the long and tedious part. I mean, it can be quick, but... <laughs> then know. it won't be good. <laughs> cool, there's our design. Looks good. Freaking awesome. The red will be up on top and then it'll come over and it'll overlap the blue. That looks real good. I'm I'm really excited for this, yeah. this piece. I think this, that's gonna look, look awesome. really good. And once you see this come into fluoration. Oh yeah, I know it will. Be, I know it will. And then for this piece, it's just gonna be simple. Just simple, a little bit smaller, but same concept. It should be easier to see the uh, the design that's going on. Starts at the front, line's gonna come across, wrap around the side, curve down, and then this is a separate piece. It's gonna be away from this, but we're continuing to, the design down so it'll sit technically like this, but you can see the, the stripes continue like that. Red paint coming up, and then we'll do the same thing. Mask off red and then spray the silver on top. And then once we're done with the silver, we can peel off all the tape and it'll leave the uh, stripes there underneath. You ready? Time for red.
So we've waited on the uh, red to dry now. So we've got the red dry. Of course, the blue is dry underneath. He's gonna start masking off the red. We did have a little bit of an issue here and the uh, tape started bubbling up a little bit, which is weird. Um, but we're gonna try something a little bit different here to salvage that. If it doesn't work out, he's just gonna redo it for me. It's okay here because there's tape underneath it. We'll get that masked off and uh, then move on to the silver paint. So the tape started coming up a little bit more here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave that piece. We're gonna continue with the other ones. Um, he's gonna redo this one. He's gonna see if he can get some vinyl cut. So it's a perfect one piece cut of vinyl. So we, he doesn't have to use individual pieces to make that, uh, make that curve because it's kind of tight. But we'll see, he's gonna take care of that. We're gonna continue with the other pieces. The other pieces are looking great. They, they look outstanding. But they're also easy. Yeah, they're also easy. I love this fade though. I can't get over this. Blue to red. Ah. It looks it looks so good. I need to do another bike now so I can just have like a fade. We'll get those taken care of and uh, he's got those masks off and we're going to start spraying the silver now. Is it ready to spray? Yeah, it's ready. To spray. Okay. And the silver is metallic. Yeah. Silver is metallic. All those were just straight, flat, solid colors. The silver is going to add a little bit of uh, interesting business here. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. That's awesome. Oh, that, yeah, that looks, that's gonna look good. Yeah, that looks, that looks amazing. I like that a lot. Yeah, I had to step away. I had to switch cameras. <laughs> the overspray was getting all over it. I think y'all are clean now. Uh, when I start spraying clear, I'm gonna have you step back real far back. And once it dries and hardens, it's, it's not coming off. Okay, gotta keep that away from the camera. We're gonna peel the tape off of the, uh, the piece that's gonna be redone. Preview right now. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, you trucker. Well, it's still a little f***ed up, so I gotta fix it anyway. <laughs> and blue does pop. It does. Cannot wait to see it. That silver is really nice. I'm more partial to darker colors, but it is a very nice silver. It's a really crappy silver. It's the worst silver I've ever seen. I'll tell you guys this a little bit closer now that I'm not getting spray all over my camera. Look at that. Oh yeah. This part right here has got to be like my favorite part of this entire, all the plastic pieces. So we'll let that dry, peel off the tape, and then put on the clear. He says that we can peel it off already. Here, peel it off, peel it off on the side. Oh man, that looks good. Fill it off. <laughs> oh man, that looks good. That looks so good. Those go perfectly together. That is awesome. It'll look even better once it has the glot, like the clear over mm -hmm. it. That looks so cool. I could not be happier with how it looks. That looks so freaking amazing. Look at that. I can't wait to see it on these pieces. Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really good. That's sharp. That looks really good. All right, the other pieces he thinks are ready to peel off.
Stripe number one is good. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's a little pigtail. Oh. There we go. There we go. Now we figure it out. <laughs> no wonder. Oh, it's so sick. That looks awesome. That looks so good. And then the uh, the headlight bracket will be here too, so it'll add a little bit of interest. The headlight bracket will be black. Oh, I missed the first stripe pole. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the next one in slow-mo. That's freaking awesome. That looks amazing. That looks awesome. Yeah. I like that more. That looks so good. So there is the, the first bike that I'm gonna have that's not white, red, and, and black. It looks so good. Is it time for clear or do we have to wait longer? Uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. We gotta stay very far away from the clear. I don't wanna get it on the camera. All right, so we've put down uh, a couple clear coats so far. Uh, I haven't really been recording because I don't want all that set, like it basically fills the entire garage with just clear fog. So we've done a couple coats so far. He's gonna do a couple more. I'm gonna be heading out here in a few minutes, but I just wanted to let you guys, look at the gloss, dude, look at, at the angle. This isn't, I mean, I, you don't have to look at it. You've seen a thousand, a thousand painted bikes and cars, but that's awesome. That looks so good. But I'm gonna be heading out of here. Uh, this stuff looks awesome. I can't wait to see that piece done. Um, if you wanna see more of his work, I'll put a link at the top of the description uh, to his company's Facebook page so you can check out some of his other work. He's gonna be posting pictures of these things when he finishes these up as well. He'll pro you'll probably end up post a pic posting a picture before I even see that thing. But if you wanna check that out, go hit that link in the description if you wanna have him do work for you as well. Otherwise, that's gonna be it here. I'm gonna head back home. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Yeah. And. Uh, Dude, I cannot wait to see how that turns out. So that's gonna be it guys. Thank you so much for watching the build video today. The support that you guys give me on this series has been incredible and it's just so cool to bring you guys along the process on doing this build. If you wanna check out Robert and Flack Designs who did the painting, you can check out the top link in the description. But I'm so excited to keep moving forward with this build and finally start putting stuff together. But again, that's gonna be it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Share it if you got a friend that you think might wanna watch it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. And I'll see y'all in the next one.